오늘은 더쌤, 뺄쌤, 곱쌤, 나누쌤 네 가지 기본 연산을 영어로 같이 알아볼 건데요. 우리 삶에도 사칙 연산이 적용된다는 사실 다들 잘 알고 계시죠? 행복은 더하고, 걱정은 빼고, 재산은 곱하고, 슬픔도 나누는 세상이면 정말 좋겠죠? 오늘 수업 바로 시작해 볼게요. 제나쌤과 리오 생활영어 마미 연산 Arithmetic operation. Arithmetic operation. Tati Yansan. Four fundamental arithmetic operations. Four fundamental arithmetic operations. Tati Yansan. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Iroke Kuzongi Teo Ito. The same. Addition. Addition. The same. Subtraction. Subtraction. Hope same. Multiplication. Multiplication. Nano same. Division. Division. 계산. Calculation. Calculation. 계산하다. Calculate. Calculate. 계산기. Calculator. Calculator. 구구단. Times table. Times table. Or multiplication table. Multiplication table. 우리는 주로 2단부터 9단까지만 이들 외우고 있죠. 2단을 영어로 two times table. Two times table. 3단은 Three times table. Three times table. 그렇다면 구단은 nine times table. Nine times table. 한 자릿수. One digit. One digit. Or single digit. Single digit. 두 자릿수. Two digit. Two digit. Or double digit. Double digit. 세 자릿수. Three digit. Three digit. Or triple digit. Triple digit. 그렇다면 그첫 번째. The same addition. 2 더하기 4를 영어로 어떻게 말하죠? 2 plus 4 equals 6. 여기서 사용된 plus, 더하다 라는 동사가 되겠죠. equals 대신에 is 로 사용할 수도 있습니다. 다시 한번 볼게요. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 2 plus 4 is 6. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 더하기 5는 6 plus 5 equals 11. 6 plus 5 equals 11. 6 plus 5 is 11. 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 더하기 7은 11 plus 7 equals 18. 11 plus 7 equals 18. 11 plus 7 is 18. 11 plus 7 is 18. 이번엔 좀더 어렵게 두 자릿수 더 쓰면 two digit addition. 한 자릿수, 두 자릿수, 세 자릿수, 그 다음에 addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. 같이 사용해서 한 자릿수, 더 쌤, one digit addition. 그렇다면 세 자릿수 곱하기는 three digit multiplication. 두 자릿수, 나누 쌤은 two digit division. 이번에는 두 자릿수, 더 쌤을 같이 해보도록 할게요. two digit addition. What is 43 plus 27? You first add Two ones, three and seven, and then add two tens, four and two. Since three plus seven is ten, you're going to write zero here, and then carry the one to the tens. For the tens, you add one, four, and two together, which is seven. So the answer is seventy. Huh? What is forty-three plus twenty-seven? You first add two ones, three and seven. You first add two ones, three and seven. And then add two tens, four and two. And then add two tens, four and two. Since three plus seven is ten, you're going to write zero here. And then carry the one to the tens. Since three plus seven is ten, you're going to write zero here. And then carry the one to the tens. For the tens, you add one, four, and two together, which is seven. So the answer is seventy. For the tens, you add one, four, and two together. Which is seven. So the answer is seventy. 다음은 뺄셈 subtraction. 십에서 삼을 빼면 ten minus three equals seven. Ten minus three equals seven. Ten minus three is seven. Ten minus three is seven. 팔에서 사를 빼면 eight minus four equals four. Eight minus four equals four. Eight minus four is four. Eight minus four is four. 두 자릿수 뺄셈, two digit subtraction. 66에서 54를 빼면, what is 66 minus 54? First, 
we're going to subtract the right column, the ones, and then the tens column. Six minus four is two, so we put the number two under the ones column. Next, we'll subtract the tens column. Six minus five is one. So we're going to write one under the tens. The answer is 12. What is 66 minus 54? First, we're going to subtract the right column, the ones, and then the tens column. First, we're going to subtract the right column, the ones, and then the tens column. 6 minus 4 is 2, so we put the number 2 under the ones column. 6 minus 4 is 2, so we put the number 2 under the ones column. Next, we'll subtract the tens column, 6 minus 5 is 1. Next, we'll subtract the tens column, 6 minus 5 is 1. So we're going to write 1 under the tens. So we're going to write 1 under the tens. The answer is 12. The answer is 12. 곱셈, multiplication. When we are kids, we memorize the multiplication table. So we know right off the back in a moment what an answer could be for certain multiplication problems. 자, 여러분들. 구구단을 영어로 multiplication table, times table. 우리가 곱셈을 한다 라고 할 적에 동사는 multiply by 라고 하시면 돼요. Or you could say times. 같이 example sentence 보실게요. 2 곱하기 2는 4. 2, 2는 4. 영어로 해볼까요? 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 2 equals 4. 다음은 4, 5, 2, 10. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 5 is 20. 간단한 곱셈 규칙 같이 봐볼게요. Basic rules of multiplication. Any number multiplied by 0 is 0. 200 times 0 is 0. Any number multiplied by 1 stays the same. 200 times 1 is 200. When a number is multiplied by 2, we're doubling the number. 200 times 2 is 400. When a whole number is multiplied by 10, we can simply write a zero at the end. There is one zero in 10 because it is 1 times 10. Another example is 200 times 10 is 2000. When multiplying by 100, we write two zeros at the end. By 1000, we write three zeros at the end, and so on. 4 times 2000, for example, is 4 times 2 equals 8 with three zeros. Eight thousands. 다음은 two-digit multiplication. 두 자리수 곱셈 같이 해볼게요. 이십구 곱하기 팔은 what is twenty-nine times eight? You will need to multiply nine by eight first. Nine times eight is seventy-two. So we are going to write the two and then carry over the seven. Next, we need to multiply eight by two. Eight times two is sixteen. And then you need to add 7 to 16. 16 plus 7 is 23. So the answer is 232. 다음은 54 곱하기 8은? What is 54 times 8? We have 8 times 4, which is 32. We're going to write the 2 and then carry over the 3. 5 times 8 is 40 plus 3. That's 43. So the answer is 432. Now we're going to multiply two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. 26 곱하기 43은? What is 26 times 43? We're going to begin by multiplying 3 by 6. 3 times 6 is 18. So we're going to write the 8 and then carry over the 1. Next, we have 3 times 2, which is 6. And then we need to add 1 to 6, which is 7. Next, we're going to multiply 4 by 6, which is 24. We need to write the 0 first because 4 indicates 40 here. We're going to write the 4 and then carry over the 2. And then we're going to multiply 4 times 2, which is 8. So we're going to add 2 to 8, which is 10. Now we need to add these two numbers, 78 and 1040. The answer is 1118. What is 26 times 43? We're going to begin by multiplying 3 by 6. 3 times 6 is 18. So we're going to write the 8 and then carry over the 1. Next, we have 3 times 2, which is 6. 
And then we need to add 1 to 6, which is 7. Next, we're going to multiply 4 by 6, which is 24. We need to write the 0 first because 4 indicates 40 here. We're going to write the 4 and then carry over the 2. And then we're going to multiply 4 times 2, which is 8. So we're going to add 2 to 8, which is 10. Now we need to add these two numbers, 78 and 1040. The answer is 1118. 다음은 나누셈, division. 우리는 나누다 라는 동사는 divide 라고 많이들 알고 있죠? 예를 들어서 8을 2로 나눈다고 할 적에 divide 8 by 2 라고 하는데 모모수로 나누다, 8 나누기 2는 4 할 적에는 divided by 라는 표현을 써요. 같이 해볼게요. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 여기서 보이는 8은 dividend이라고 말을 하고 또 나누수, 즉 2는 divisor이라고 합니다. 그리고 만약에 나머지가 존재할 적에 우리는 remainder이라고 말을 합니다. 이번에 좀더 어려운 나누셈 같이 해보도록 할게요. Let's try 528 divided by 2. First, how many twos does it take to make 5 or almost 5? How many twos will fit into 5? The answer is 2. So we put the 2 as the first digit of our answer. Then we multiply 2 times 2, which is 4. And we subtract the 4 from the 5, which leaves us a remainder of 1. Now we move our next digit and we need to bring down the 2 to combine with the remainder from the first digit. And then we ask how many 2s will make 12. The answer is 6. So we put 6 as the next digit of our answer. 12 minus 12 leaves no remainder. Finally, for our last digit, we bring down the 8 and ask how many 2s will make 8. The answer is 4. Again, it leaves no remainder. The final answer is 264. Let's try 528 divided by 2. First, how many 2s does it take to make 5 or almost 5? How many 2s will fit into 5? The answer is 2. So we put the 2 as the first digit of our answer. Then we multiply 2 times 2, which is 4. And we subtract the 4 from the 5, which leaves us a remainder of 1. Now we move our next digit. And we need to bring down the 2 to combine with the remainder from the first digit. And then we ask how many 2s will make 12. The answer is 6. So we put 6 as the next digit of our answer. 12 minus 12 leaves no remainder. Finally, for our last digit, we bring down the 8 and ask how many 2s will make 8. The answer is 4. Again, it leaves no remainder. The final answer is 264. 여러분들 오늘은 저랑 같이 Four Elementary Mathematical Operations of Arithmetic 같이 사칙 연상 공부를 해봤습니다. 여러분들 아직도 이 표현들이 입에 달라붙질 않죠? 그렇다면 어떻게 한다? 반복 연습 하시면 되겠습니다. 그렇다면 오늘은 여기까지. See you next time.